working world, a lot of our time is focused on what went wrong? What's broken? How do I fix it? Problem solving, issue tracking, troubleshooting. How do we put out all those fires? That often takes up a lot of our energy and therefore can be draining. But is this really the only way we can go throughout our workday? Or is there a potential other solution, another way of addressing how we improve our work environment? Well, thanks to a concept developed by David Cooperider called Appreciative Inquiry and our topic du jour, we have another solution. Most of you are probably very familiar with strengths-based personality stuff like strengths finder, soaring with your strengths, and strengths-based leadership. I like to think of appreciative inquiry as strengths-based processes. It's really focused on what's working exceptionally well and how do we create more of that. So appreciative inquiry, how does it exactly work? Well, it is, in its simplest form, a four-step process. Step number one, discover. This is where you find out what's working really well. Where are we already having great success? Step number two, dream. Envisioning what would work well in the future. Step number three, design. Prioritizing and planning what processes would work well. So this is the actual strategizing piece of all the things you just envisioned that could work in the future. What would actually work well? And the last step, step number four, destiny. Outlining the execution of the proposed change or design. So you had your strategizing step, and now at the very end, fourth step, you have your implementation piece. How are we going to make this work? Talk about a wonderful way to approach the workplaces we live in, but not only that, but the people within them. I had the privilege of hearing David Cooperider, the founder of this idea, um, speak on the topic, and he mentioned a conversation that he had had with the late Peter Drucker, management guru, and he posed the question, what is the great task of leadership? And the response that he got was to create an alignment of strengths within a system to make the weaknesses irrelevant. So my question for you is the energy you exhaust at work, does it fall under the bucket of tracking issues and seeing problems and identifying things that need to be fixed? Or does it fall under the bucket of finding out what's working really well and how you extrapolate that across the entire organization? That's all I have time for today. Would love to hear your comments on the YouTube channel. Per usual, subscribe, tell your friends, and I can't wait till next week. Thanks.